Hello YouTubers, this is Shem2409 and in this video I'm going to answer some basic questions about routing and unlocking your Sony Xperia Z1. So, first of all, what does routing actually mean? So, routing grants you access to the system partition on your phone. This means you get full control over your device and any app that is on it. After your routing, you will be able to uninstall any apps that came with your phone, install apps such as Titanium Backup, to backup apps with data, install ad blocking apps such as AdAway, and many others that require root access to function properly. Will routing void my warranty? No, routing itself will not void your warranty. All you need to do is go back to a stock ROM using Flash Tour or repair your device via PC Companion or Sony update service before sending your device back for repair. Updating via over-the-air updates or a PC companion will also unroot your phone so you'll have to go through the procedure again if you want to get root access on your phone. Can I flash custom ROMs after routing? You can flash custom ROMs and firmwares using a software called Flash Tour. The ROMs need to be built on the same kernel as stock so you will not be able to use ROMs such as CyanogenMod, Pac-Man ROMs, Android Opera Source Project ROMs, or any that are not based on Sony firmware just by booting your phone. To be able to flash those ROMs, you will need the ability to flash a custom kernel, which is like a set of instructions for your phone's CPU and GPU. This will be made possible by unlocking the bootloader of your phone. So how to unlock the bootloader? First, check if your phone has the ability to be bootloader unlocked by going into your phone and dialing star hash star hash service hash star hash star then go to service info and configuration and see if the routing status if under the routing status you get bootloader unlock allowed yes to unlock the bootloader you'll need to head to unlockbootloader.sonymobile.com and there you'll be guided through the procedure in configuration your phone says bootloader unlock allowed no. Is there a way around? This means that most likely you will never be able to unlock the bootloader on your phone and thus, and thus installing custom ROMs such as Cyanogen mode or on your phone will not be possible. You can still root your phone and install ROMs based on stock. Will you lose warranty by unlocking the bootloader? Yes, the bootloader unlocking will void your warranty. Will you lose X-Reality Engine, Bravia Engine, and is there a possibility to bootloader lock my, your device? So before bootloader unlocking your phone on the Sony website, it is advisable to backup your TA partition using a software called Backup TA Tool. I attach a link below the video. This will let you retain your DRM keys and thus you will be able to re-enable all features lost by unlocking the bootloader. Will you be able to SIM, lock, SIM unlock your phone after routing? SIM lock has nothing to do with routing your device. To SIM unlock your phone, you will need to do it through your phone service provider or buy an unlock key online. So you don't need to root your device to SIM unlock your phone as that won't work. What is an FTF file format? This is a file format used by Sony to provide full firmwares that can be easily installed on your phone. This way you can flash using Flash Tool, which I'll talk about later, the newest available updates, updates that have not yet come to your region. So what is Flash Tool? Flash Tool is a powerful software which allows you to install firmwares, modifications and kernels to your device, as well as to backup your device while doing that. Flash Tool is currently available from Windows, Mac and Linux. For more information, please visit the official website at www.flashtool.net. To connect your device in flash mode, turn off the device, connect it to your PC via the USB cable while holding the volume down key. To connect the device in fast boot mode, turn off the device and connect it to your PC via the USB cable while holding the volume up key. Do I need to be rooted to use flash tool? You do not need to be rooted to use Flash Tool. You can flash FTF firmwares from any region of the world. To do this, simply download the FTF file 
for example from XDA developers forums, place it in firmware's folder inside the flash tool installation folder and install it to your phone. You will not void your warranty by flashing alternative firmware. My device is not recognized in flash tool. What can I do? So most likely this is because the ADB drivers are not configured properly on your PC. Most likely you had another phone before that had different ADB drivers or you have software such as PC Companion or others running on your PC that disturb the process. So please have a look at the following link for a solution. Uh, I use this method quite a, few, quite a few times and it always works for me. And so thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed the video please the like button below the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you later.